Right, start off briefly, the Kurds. Um, these are the YKK in Syria. Um, historically, the Kurds have had a bit of a rough deal when we uh, persuaded them to stand against Saddam Hussein. We promptly left them to be gassed in Al-Abja. Many died. Um, fighting against ISIS. We got the Kurds to help us. And they did. They fought valiantly. They died. They fought viciously. They did what they had to do. And once again, we've kind of left them. And now Turkey, that wonderful <coughs> nation that wants to be part of the EU, that beacon of democracy. In fact, the country that makes more requests for people's personal information to websites and social media sites than any other when they're being critical of Turkey, has decided to bomb the shit out of the Kurds in Syria because America pulled out. Um, they said, fuck the Kurds, once again. I imagine the Kurds are feeling quite bitter about this. But uh, Donald Trump, I shouldn't have taken him off because I'm going to be a twat to get back on with this earpiece. He was talking about the Kurds and he defended his decision to withdraw troops from northern Syria. Because um, what Turkey wants to do, allegedly, <laughs> is create a buffer zone. A buffer zone in northern Syria. I believe it's also known as ethnic cleansing. <clears throat> now, Donald Trump did say about the Kurds, yeah, they did help fight Islamic State, but, you know, they didn't help us with Normandy during the Second World War. Technically, he's correct. The Kurds didn't fight in Normandy as a force in the Second World War. Has anyone told Donald Trump where Normandy is? And how far away from Kurdistan it is? Has anyone... Is that the only reason we'll help it? Well, you didn't help us in World War II. Well, I imagine they were probably busy. Not knowing where Normandy was. So yeah, because the Kurds didn't take part in the D-Day operation, fuck them. Fuck them. Let them die. It's the, it, you know, we just keep fucking the Kurds. It's like we want another group of people to be our enemy. We need more Middle Eastern enemies, more bad guys. That's what we need. And um, by God, we're going to get them. I just cannot believe it. I mean, of all the things he comes... I mean, I know he's an expert at trolling his opponents and playing to his base. But they didn't help us in Normandy. Neither did the Germans. But we wouldn't let someone bomb them now, would we? Is that what we say? If Germany have a problem and need our help with anything. Well, you didn't fucking help us in Normandy. No, they didn't. They were on the other side. But we're friends now because it was a while ago. Sort of friends. Kind of friends. Um... You lying bastard, sea cleaner. My system boot time was 1 minute and 33 seconds. <laughs> was it really? It's more like half an hour. So, yeah. <laughs> We're going to let Turkey bomb the shit out of the Kurds because the Kurds didn't help us at Normandy. Not because of, in spite of the fact, I guess. Something. I'm sure someone can find a way of defending what was said, you know, because a lot of the times things are only part reported, because, you know, Donald Trump is, is a goldmine for hot takes if you edit out at least half of what he said. You know, um, but that's just a really fucking weird thing to say. Now, um, as you know, I'm, I'm a, a great fan of, of the uh, progressive state known as Turkey. And it's fine leader, Erdogan. If I ever want an argument on the internet, I only have to mention Turkey. And they fucking poor, very nationalist. Very nationalist, you Turkish people. Uh, Erdogan, he's, he's come out with a great one. An absolute fucking peach. If we refer to what Turkey are doing as an invasion... Because why would it be an invasion? They're only sending troops into a foreign country. That's not an invasion, is it, Gray? Nope. No, no, that's, that, 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 that doesn't even vaguely qualify as an invasion. Not in that part of the world. No, 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 it's just... 
doing stuff. We're not invading. Just many soldiers going in. It's, 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 it's not an invasion. However, if we refer it to an invasion, he will, unusually for him, become quite cross and intolerant. His plan, and this was his threat, is if you refer to this as an invasion, only not in this voice, in whatever voice it is he has, we will open the doors and release 3.6 million refugees into Europe. So that's what he's threatening, is it? That's his threat. That's his threat. Don't just help my country out. You know, don't just do this, do that. We're a member of NATO, but fuck you guys. We're invading the shit out of Syria, and if you call it as it is, we're just going to release 3.6 million refugees into Europe. That'd be nice. You can't say anything else. You've got to say it's nice. Otherwise, you're a racist. Because there's no problem with refugees in Europe. Because all of those refugees are genuinely people under threat at home who, who, who you know... Need to say it just so happens that they're all young men of adult age who don't necessarily like where they're going to, but fuck it, yeah, 3.6. He's actually making that threat now. He's making that threat. So Donald Trump's made a threat to Turkey, though. He said, get out of line. I will fucking ruin you. Not like that. S smaller hands, for one thing. But he's told them he'll economically destroy them. It's all getting a bit out of hand, this, isn't it? It's all, it's all getting a bit fucking much now. I love the ad lib on that when he goes, I've done it before. <laughs> he's like, what? Done it before. <laughs> only, to, only to companies in America that you didn't pay. You know, what country have you done it before to? I know this isn't like a, a carpenter that did your yeah. hotel and then you just <laughs> fucked it off. <laughs> <laughs> But of course, I, I'm just surprised that no one in Europe stepped up to Erdogan and said, what are you talking about? You know, why Why hasn't the EU... Well, of course we know why the EU hasn't. Why hasn't someone stepped up and gone, shut your fucking mouth? Because, you know, Turkey's got a large army. Very large army. And many nationalist Turks have told me that, you know, you want to be more respectful to us, our army will crush you all. It's like, nah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. So we've got it kicking off in Syria. We've got Turkey wanting to send 3.6 million refugees of, of predominantly of fighting age into Europe, which I can only imagine will make Malmo a wonderful place to live. Not that we're allowed to talk about the rapey aspect of, many, of uh, a good percentage of refugees. Not allowed to mention that. Because, uh, you know, people get annoyed. People get annoyed. Don't know why, it's just a fact. You know, it's it's just a fact that, that shit houses are going to get in on the action of getting into Europe as well. Why wouldn't they? Now, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is here. Because I don't think we should sacrifice the Kurds again. Um, it's like Toluvian says, Turks have a hard time with Kurds. Yes, they do. They're the PKK. I've been um, fucking him out with them all the time. But uh, that's not who's in Syria. It's the YKK. Well, apparently, they, they, they just say, well, it's the same thing. To a Turk, a Kurd is a Kurd. And um, should be killed in an airstrike, apparently. That seems to be the 